Back with a first look at the highly anticipated movie, Jurassic World. Today, contributing correspondent Jenna Bush Hager got to visit the set in New Orleans. Not a bad assignment. I sure did. It was a lot of fun, good food, and the dinosaurs are back. And with this Jurassic World, the franchise hopes to excite a whole new generation of Jurassic Park fans with, of course, a new cast of characters. Remember the fear. The suspense. The wonder. Well, it's time to go back. It's been two decades since Steven Spielberg brought Michael Crichton's epic tale to life. Wowing theater goers with terrifying lifelike dinosaurs. Now after two sequels and nearly two billion dollars in total worldwide sales, the series is coming out of extinction with Jurassic World. Executive producer Steven Spielberg handpicked newcomer Colin Trevorrow to direct. Great take, I like both of those. Did he give you any words of wisdom? Uh, words of wisdom uh, every day. You know, he'll send ideas and he'll draw out ideas on pads of paper and, and I'll shoot him. Shouldn't tell her that I got Parks and Recreation's Chris Pratt and the Help's Bryce Dallas Howard star in this latest installment. So the two of you are joining this iconic, much beloved series of films. Is that a lot of pressure? I feel like Jurassic Park was sort of our generation's Star Wars. Like it's a really, it's a really big deal. What we keep finding ourselves doing on set is when we're watching playback, we'll be like, da 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 da. Well, like all in chorus, we'll all be singing along as we watch some kind of like sweeping shot unfold. In Jurassic World, 22 years has passed since John Hammond dreamed of a dinosaur theme park. Now that dream has become a reality. Where we're shooting right now is Jurassic World. People from around the world, 20,000 visitors a day come to see the dinosaurs and see the several attractions. And it's been around long enough to where attendance starts to fall off a little bit, so they've decided to come up with a new attraction to bring even more people in. And you're never gonna believe it, but it doesn't go well. <laughs> and of course, the two inevitably end up running for their lives. Who's the better runner? I'm gonna be honest with you. We're both really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I actually have this photo, Chris, that you put on your Instagram. Uh-oh. Do you know oh, what no. this is oh, going to no. be? These are your abs? Those are America's abs. <laughs> yeah, those are. Those are mine. Okay. So does this help you survive in the, in the jungle? Obviously. <laughs> I'm like, quick, drop and do 20 crunches. <laughs> That'll protect us. Ooh. Nick Robinson and Ty Simpkins play kids visiting the park. They taught me the essentials of surviving something like this. Survivor tip number one, a killer scream. But here's a scenario. You're being chased through that boardwalk by a dinosaur. Now go. That'll wake some people up. Survivor tip number two, if you can't scream, it may be best to Run! Oh no! Dinosaurs! No, not dinosaurs! No, run! Go! So at least we survived this day. I hope you both survive the movie. Here's to hoping. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to hoping. And Jurassic World hits theaters next June. I also got a chance to visit the Jurassic World theme park gift star shop with Chris and Bryce. You can catch some of that on today.com. And you didn't bring us anything? I won't, they didn't give me anything. Oh, oh you could buy something, no, too. No, it's a part of the movie. Okay, all right, fine. It's part of the movie. I, I was By the gonna... way, you cheated in the running race also. You no, I did not. You're supposed to tell them one, two, three, That go. wasn't a cheat. They said they were going to give me a couple second head start. Oh, I'm okay. 32. Okay. <laughs> Jenna, thank you.